If you're expecting a Russians on side-by-sides gone wild in this video, you might be a little disappointed. This is Andre on vacation having a little bit of fun, and when he says he's going to cross the river, well, he's not. But it's a fun video anyway, so coming up right now, watch Russians Gone Wild on vacation as Andre does not cross a river. We got ourselves a classic old versus new, but this time it's a Kawasaki Mule old versus new. Which one can cross the stream and climb up the bank? Coming up right now. <laughs> This is a 93 Kawasaki Mule and it's a very basic one, two-wheel drive, but check this out. It has 1171 hours on the clock. That may not seem like a lot, actually it's not a lot of hours, but over 25 years this unit has seen some life and it's very simple. It's got an air box here, little fuel tank on this side, and a little, little motor underneath. It's been very reliable on the farm here in New Mexico. And I want you guys to send us more information about your side-by-side -side or your ATV. Let us know what's been reliable, what has failed, what kind of maintenance you need to do on your units and send it to us at ask at tfloffroad.com or comment on this video or comment on tfloffroad.com, the website. By the way, here's a brand new unit, actually a 2017 Kawasaki 4x4 Pro FX Mule LE with power steering. This one has got all the bells and whistles. Four wheel drive. Lock, unlock, lights, LED lights. There's the CVT with high and low gear. Cup holders. Locked differential in the rear. Unlocked, it's pretty simple, it's cool. You got your choke, you got forward gear, neutral and reverse. Parking brake on the new mule is actually up high, which is very handy. We've got reverse down below, neutral, high and low gearing. And you can actually start the engine in gear, or you can put it in neutral. And then you have a locker here for the differential, four wheel drive, two wheel drive. And lots of cool light options. This is the outer lights and LEDs in the center. Maximum trailer weight 900. Hey, it's not bad. Here's the new rating. A lot more now, but a lot more expensive too. Right now I'm running in two-wheel drive. And I want to see if I can cross this little stream here. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Cross the little river. Water is running a little bit low today, or this season, I should say. And this is two-wheel drive. Really, really uh, easy. Let me see. I can lock the rear end, and I can go to four-wheel drive. And let's see if I can climb this little embankment here.
this doesn't have a ton of power, so you gotta have a lot of momentum. Okay. Neutral. Okay. Okay, so the new one made that river crossing look easy, but the old one was actually more fun. So if I had to choose, I'll pick the old one any day. Go back to tflafro.com for more news, views and real world side-by-side -side reviews.